डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर एम पी सिजा प्रोफेसर रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस गुरु नानक देव यूनिवर्सिटी अमृतसर द टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन हेयर इज द ऑथोटेबल और द बुक नंबर नंबरिंग प्रोसीजर फॉर इंडियन बुक्स इन इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस इन द नेशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ इंडिया एट कोलकाता द नेशनल लाइब्रेरी ऑफ इंडिया एट कोलकाता अर्लियर द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया कंप्लीटेड हंड्रेड इयर्स ऑफ इट्स एस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑन थर्टीएथ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड थ्री आफ्टर इंडिपेंडेंस of india it was renamed and designated national library of india under the imperial library change of name act in 1948 in the same year it was shifted to the present building in belvedere in 30 acre camp- campus which earlier was the lodge of the viceroy of india the national library was formally thrown open thrown open to the public on 1st february 1953 by mulana abdul kalam azad the first education minister of free india bs kesavan was appointed the first librarian of the national library he is aptly given the credit to transform the imperial library into a national library worthy of an independent nation he was a doyen of librarianship now the library is an autonomous institution of national importance under the ministry of culture by a act of 1976 the parliament it is managed by a board and executive council under the department of culture government of india new delhi director usually an eminent scholar is the executive head the national library is supported by a large contingent of professional technical and ministerial staff which works under the director general the national library is the largest library in india both in number and variety of books and is also due to its very big building role of book numbers a book number has a very decisive role in shelf classification it takes shelf arrangement of documents to a point where classification per se cannot it means that the work of the book number starts from where that of the class number ends for example a train or bus cannot take you to the place of your visit after the train you have to take some local convenience to reach your destination similarly class number alone is not able to uniquely individualize a document on the library shelves a book number determines the unique relative place of a document in the library store that is it helps to give a unique call number to the document if these books within the same class are not finally and discreetly arranged then the purpose of classification is defeated we will have pockets of chaos on the shelves not a individual place of every document this device of sub arranging documents having the same specific class number is called book number sometimes it's called author number 2 the function of book number starts from where that of the class number ends book number are thus satellites of a class number so have no independent value that is by itself a book number cannot arrange a document but when it supports the class number then the book gets a unique place on the shelves and a unique call number too major methods of book numbering the two major and rival system of book number are alphabetical arrangement by author or title of the document chronological arrangement by year of publication or in the order of accession in the library an alphabetical author mark system perfected by c a cutter was first published in the year 1892 of all the versions cutter son born is the most popular author table library of congress classification which was first published in the year 1901 has popularized the system 
its most simplified form as part of its class number. W.S. Bisco, a close colleague and friend of Melville D.B., with whose support he designed a chronological table to subarrange books by their year of publication. And this method was also supported by Melville D.B. Asharanganathan took this art to its last perfection in designing a complex chronological book number in his book, Colon Classification, published in the year 1933. And his base was the chronological book numbering system. In practice, there are numerous local variations and adaptations of these methods suiting the local needs. To list the major book number systems of the world so far are Besco Time Numbers, published in the year 1885, Cutter Sanborn Three Figure Author Table that came in year 1986, Cutter Three Figure Alphabetic Order Table, published in the year 1901. Brown Biographical Numbers 1906, Brown Date Table 1906, again it is a chronological method, Merrill Book Number published in the year 1912, Dickinson Author Numbers were published in the year 1906 in India, Ranganathan's Colon Book Numbers published in the year 1933 which is a chronological system, then Parsa R. Barton's Special Schemes for Book Numbers published in the year 1937. And lastly, Rider also gave a book numbering system in the International Classification, published in the year 1961. Indian systems. Foremost among them is Dickinson book number. The DDC was introduced in India by an American librarian and student of Melville D.V., whose name was Asa Don Dickinson, who was born in the year 1876 in USA. And he was appointed librarian of the Punjab University, Lahore, in 1915. He devised a special author table to suit Indian names, which he included in his famous book, Punjab Library Primer, published in the year 1916. The table is contained in Chapter 7, Author or Book Numbers, on pages 52 to 83. It was a sort of special cutter table, though it still contained European names mostly. This small table which gave brief author numbers was simple to use and a bit suitable for Indian libraries. And it was an alphabetical system. Continuing with the Indian systems, Asar Down Dickinson claimed table was prepared in Punjab University Library and has been found fairly satisfactory. In this table, every name was denoted by an alphabet followed by one numeral. In case of I, U, X, Y, and Z, and two in other cases. For example, Erwin got the number I7, Quinn got the number Q7, Abraham got the number A15, and Norman got the number N74. On pages 82 to 84, it gives instructions for complete book numbers, which is a rehash of Cutter's method in a simplified form. Another method in India was designed by Padma Shri Professor S. Bishiruddin. He designed it in the year 1928 and designed for various languages, for Sanskrit, Hindi, Urdu, Arabic, Persian, and even English for the Aligarh Muslim University Library. In each language table, he assigned a value of two digit numerals to each alphabet. For example, double one to A, three six to Z to construct the author number, for example, Akbar got the number A21, where A stands for Akbar and 21 stands for the rest of the figures. Shakespeare is S18 and Sharma is S18. Nothing could be more easier or more simpler. Perhaps pure alphabetical author number of one or more alphabets would have worked better. Let's try to understand why the National Library of India needed a special author table for Indian names. It is very obvious that knowledge organization tools such as classification systems, subject headings, lists have inborn bias towards the country and time of their origin. They are cultural sen sensitive. Author tables for cutter are no exception. Not only cutter tables are for Christian and Western names, 
they are also only in Roman scripts. Therefore, these author tables are not suitable for Indian names. As Cutter constructed his table with Anglo-Saxon surnames as the basis. When this table is used for Indian names, it is very often necessary uh, to expand them to three or more figures or even to six or seven digits, which obviously becomes un unwieldy. Therefore, the National Library at Kolkata designed and issued in 1961 the author table for Indian authors writing in vernacular languages. I am showing you this table, the title page of this table. And it bears the insignia of the government of India. In the Indian table for the name, for example, the surname Mukhopadhyay has 21 author numbers, individual author numbers from MU7192 MU833 for various four names under its various, uh, whereas the cutter table has only one M896. In design methodology, it is based on cutter three figure table and uh, also uh, keeping uh, classics and semi classics together. The National Library is the largest library of India and it has very valuable and rare collections of about 3 million, that is 30 lakh documents of every sort in languages, English, Arabic, Persian, New European and almost all the Indian languages. It also houses collections of many scholars and has separate subject and linguistic divisions including one on Indology. In this table, all names have been printed in Roman capitals and arranged alphabetically in letter by letter order in three columns in a page. See these three examples of uh, Dasa Y, Dasa Jakari, and uh, Dasa Day N. Multi-worded compounded names such as Ramanayar, Dasa Jakari, Madho Panekar have been treated as a single word and listed accordingly. It means Dasa Dhakari will follow Dasa Y. In the schedule above, names are written as one word without space. Uh, for example, Dasa Dhakari, one word, Madhupanikar, one word, and Raman Nair, one word. For your further information, a image of the whole one page is but reproduced here. The table devised by the National Library provides distinct author numbers for every author having the same surname but different four names, which is not possible by using cutter tables. It is used only for works of Indian authors in Indian languages. The table is based on literary warrant as the real Indian names from different linguistic, cultural and regional groups have been called from various bibliographies and catalogues. The names have been transliterated into Roman script by the Hunterian system, which now seems no more in vogue. It's no more used by this method of transliteration given by Hunter. Let us see this, how the Indian names are transliterated into Roman alphabets or Roman script. Of course, mercifully, diacritical marks have not been used in the Hunterian transcription. But a great advantage is that the various existing forms of Indian names have been standardized. The table compares the modern names and the Hinterian transcription. Krishna is written as KRSN, Nehru is written as Nehruva, Sharma is written as Sarma, Das Gupta, Dasa Gupta, Chattopadhyay is Katopadhyay, Banerjee is Vandhupadhyay, and Bos is Vasu. In the table, Sanskritized form of names have been used, though diacritical marks have been avoided as said earlier. South Indian and Muslim names are entered under their personal names. For example, Ramanathan K, Subarav B, Viraraju, Vishwanathan, Abdul Ghaffar, Muhammad Masood Sadiqi. These have been entered under their first name or personal name. Similarly, some Western Christian names have also been included as they occur in 
the bibliographies or books published in India. Walker, Waterman, Wilson. These are some examples of Christian or Western names. The structure of the table is as follow. All names have been printed in Roman capitals and arranged alphabetically in letter by letter order in three columns a page. So taking one column D, Dasa Day, 324, Dasa Y, 438, Dasa Dkari, 441, and Dasa Day, N, 444. Multi-worded compound names such as Raman Nayar, Dasa Dkari, Madhav Panikar have been treated as a single word and listed accordingly. It means Dasa Dkari will follow Dasa Y. In the schedule above, names are written as one word without a space, as given Dasa Dkari, Madhu Panikar, Ramanayar. Continuing with the structure of the tables, each letter of alphabet has 729 names except the following letters that is E, F, H, I, L, O, Q, U, W, X, Y, and Z. As these letters do not have enough Indian names to begin with. All other alphabets have numbers 1112999. On the other hand, for the large number of Indian names that begin with the letters A, B, D, G, K, M, P, R, and V, two schedules of numbers are provided. In case of S, which is the largest one, there are three such schedules tables are given. In each of these schedules, names are distributed over the numbers 111 to 999. Therefore, many numbers are lying vacant throughout the table, uh, which can be filled in future with the new names. In the tri column table, author numbers obtained are not uniform in structure. Ordinarily, an author number is to consist of an initial alphabet of the author's name followed by three Indo Arabic numerals in decimal in numbers. For example, Bhargwa B. 341, Iqbal I-512, Yusuf Hussain Y-289. But in case of E, F, I, Q, W, X and Z, there are not many names. So each alphabet here is followed by two numerals only. For example, Ekanth will get the number E-36. In case of alphabets having two or more schedules, the, the first two letters of the name are to be used preceding three decimal numbers for the second schedules. For example, in the first schedule, Abbas Ali gets the number A1113. And in the second schedule, Alag will get the number AL113. In case of S, there are three such tables or schedules. Though in both the second and the third schedules, the first two initials later are used. For example, Sabar will get the number S121 in the first schedules. In the operational manual that given on page 5627, it has been explained as to which name will begin with two initial letters. But unfortunately, this has not been reminded in the schedules. It is likely that a classifier may use only one initial letter for the names in second and third schedules without any on the, the spot remind, reminder. However, for the names, names falling between the following alphabetical order, the two letters of the alphabets are, are used. That is AL to AZ, BH to BZ, DH to DZ, GI to, to GZ, KH to KZ, ME to MZ, PE to PZ, RAN to RZ, SAS to SAZ, and VE to VZ. For example, Dilbag will get the number DI5536. The operational manual that is how to use the table. The names are given in letter by letter alphabetical order to assign an author number to a name. Look for the, that name in the schedules alphabetically. If the name is found exactly, then using the prescribed one or two initial alphabets, put the numerals against that. For example, a Kant E36. But it is unlikely, or in majority of the cases, every author number exact name is not found in the schedules. No claim has been made, nor can it be made, made for exhaustively listing all the Indian names. Obviously and inevitably, post 1960, 
authors are missing. Sing. These are many and growing every day. If the exact name is not found, which is, which is more likely, then the earlier upper number in the schedule is used. This is just in accordance with the Cutter method. In such case cases, locate the two consecutive numbers between which the given name falls. Then use the upper number having lower or number of the name. For example, the name Fadal al -Hai falls between Fadal's 79 and FE81. And there is no exact number for Fadal al -Hai. Therefore, our author number for Fadal al -Hai will be F79, that is the upper number. Similarly, for Shakespeare, it will be SH618 as this name falls between Shaikh S618 and so on. Future expansion. Due to the use of decimal notation, future names can be added anywhere and the existing names can be further expanded decimally for individualization. Complete book number. Sometimes the author number is not able to make the full book number and author number is simply part of the book number. The National Library Table provides guidelines for using the author number in making a book number by adding initial word of the work number after the author. For example, Shakespeare's Hamlet will get the number SH618H. Here H stands for the Hamlet. Similarly, Tulsi Das Ramana will get the number 8933R. Here R is Ramana and that is H and T are the work numbers. Translations. Translations get special book numbers to keep them with the original. It provides guidelines for keeping together the various translations of a publication, keeping together the various commentaries of a classic and also the various biographies of a person. For a translated work, the name of the original work is used for the author number, while initial of the translator name is given after the title. For example, Shakespeare's Hamlet translated by Harvan Shrai Bachchan will get the number SH618HB. Here it will be noted that SH618 stands for Shakespeare, H stands for Hamlet and B stands for Bachchan. And similarly, Hamlet translated by Nanaji Deshmukh will get the number SH618HD. Here D stands for Deshmukh. It thus keeps together all the translations of a given work. Biographies. It also keeps together all the biographies of a luminary written by different persons. Biographies name is used to construct the author number. Initial of the author name is used after the author number. For example, biography of Jala Nehru by B. R. Nanda is N762N. Here N stand N stands for, for Nehru and N762 is author number for Nehru and the next N stands for Nanda the author of the biography. Similarly, biography of J. L. Nel Nehru by M. G. Akbar will get the number N N762A. A. Here A stands for Akbar, the author of the biography. Apart from translations and biographies, commentaries of a book can also be brought together. For example, critical commentaries of a book can be kept together by putting letter Z after the initial of the title of the book. Uh, that is the work number. Initial letter of the title may be followed by the initial letter of the commentator. For example, Tulsi Das Ramana will get the number T933R. Here T933 stands for Tulsi Das and R stands for Ramana. Then a commentary on the Tulsi Das Ramana by any person will get the number T933RZ. Here Z stands for the commentary. Z may be further individualized by the name of the critic or commentator. For example, M. R. Anand's, that is Mulkraj Anand's commentary on Tulsi Das Ramana will get the number T933RZA. To explain, T933 stands for Tulsi Das, R stands for Ramana, Z stands for commentary, and A stands for the name of the commentator, that is Anand. Raj Gopal Achari's commentary on Tulsi Das Ramana will similarly get the number T. 933RZR. Here the last R stands for Raj Balachari. In this way, all the commentaries on Tulsi Das Ramana will come together and get arranged alphabetically by the commentator. Arrangement of author numbers. 
that is ordinal value of digits used. Since some names use two initial letters and some use only one, therefore to keep them in the desired order an alphabetical has been given higher ordinal value than the numeral digits. For example, Saligram will get the number S391 and Satpati SA155 and Son Singh will get SO135. These, these names will be arranged in the above order. It mean, means that, that A has more value than 3 or the numeral. These names will be arranged in the above order of course. Similarly, if a number is expanded beyond 3 digits, it will file together before the work number. For example, the following author numbers K7782 or K7778L will file in the above sequence as 2 has less ordinal value than L. This national table needs immediate updating to include new names. To summarize and to conclude, we can say this table has all the features and uses method of all the cutter tables. It not only helps to provide individual author numbers for Indian authors writing in Indian languages from all regions and cultures of India, but it also provides book numbers for classics, semi-classics, literary works and their commentaries on them. It makes provision for translations to be kept with the original work. It has also made provision to bring together all the biographies of a person. For example, if a library has 10 biographies on Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru by different authors, then all biographies will come together and will be further subarranged alphabetically by the name of the author. To its criticism, we can say that author numbers are lengthy, though it was somewhat inevitable for such a detailed uh, system. It also uses more than one initial of the author in some cases, which may be confusing for the classifiers at times. But above all, it is more than a half century old, and since then, many new Indian authors have emerged in India writing in Indian languages. Therefore, the table needs updating and revision, which in fact is quite overdue.